Council in the Super Featherweight Division. And today, Edwin Rosario goes for the very first time at 135 pounds. He weighed 134 at the official weigh-in. So he must exhibit some patience perhaps beyond his years today as he takes on this man. Edwin Verouette, born also in Puerto Rico, but now living in Jersey City, New Jersey. He is 32 years of age, and you see his record reflected there. But he is the kind of a fighter that can utterly frustrate another young fighter like Rosario. He has frustrated a lot of people during his career. There were those who thought he might well have gotten the decision against Roberto Duran when their non-title fight. The tale of the tape reflected here. You for now, this will be no problem for Rosario if he should decide to come on back down to 130. But this will be his heaviest outing so far. Both of them seem quite amiable in the moments prior to the beginning of what is sure to be a very important fight. As we mentioned, Rosario wins. He has the possibility of a chance against Bazooka Limon for the World Super Bantamweight Championship. Limon defeating Rolando Navarrete yesterday in this same ring in what was an outstanding fight. Virouette, on the other hand, if he should lose in this bout today, probably is not going to see very many more big paydays. There is a strong left hand right there by Edwin Rosario. Rosario in the black trunks, Virouette in the white. Virouette does not have the run in his legs that he used to have. He does not have the bounce that he had when he was 25 years of age. He has not had that many fights in recent years, averaging about two fights per year. Reason for that, very simple. For one thing, not a lot of guys want to fight him because he is very difficult to handle. And he has a granite jaw. He can take the shot and live with it and come back to torment you. Rosario, on the other hand, and the couple of times that we have seen him against reasonably worthy opponents, he has been a relatively patient young fighter. His career actually started in Puerto Rico when he was only 15 years of age. The record we pick on him, uh, pick up on him, starts in 1979, which gives him a 24 and 0 mark. But he does not throw caution to the wind. He is not a particular gambler, and he does have strength in both hands, as you can see from that left and right combination of the head of Virouette. He is also willing to work to the body. For Rosario, it is Jimmy Jacobs, the manager at ringside, Manny Siaka, his trainer, also in the corner, Antonio Rosario, his father, and Angel Rodriguez. In the corner of Virouette, Billy Russo, the manager, with Bob Choker, the trainer, Angel Virouette, his brother, and Johnny Toco on cuts. Edwin Virouette is the brother of a middleweight that we have seen, or welterweight, Adolfo Virouette, fought in that light welter category. As a matter of fact, did a fight here out of Las Vegas several months ago when Sugar Ray Leonard was on his way to the top. Hard right hand. I mean, a wicked right hand by Rosario, followed by two top lefts. So here in the very first round, Edwin Rosario finds the head of Edwin Virouette with some tough combinations and some redness now showing on the face of Virouette from those blows. Another name and highly ranked and former champion at Super Featherweight at ringside today watching Cornelius Boza Edwards who now lives in Las Vegas. And we've come inside 30 seconds to go in the first round. There's a solid uppercut by Rosario and a right hand comes over the top by Rosario in the first round. <laughs> In the final seconds of round one, and Edwin Rosario has come out strong in this first round. Lightweight bout, Edwin Rosario out of Puerto Rico. Tabaja, which is a suburb of San Turchi. He's in the black trunks, and he dominated the first round. Edwin Vera went in the white trunks out of Jersey City, though he was born in Puerto Rico. We we're under Nevada rules. 10-point must scoring, three judges, referee Harry Krause does not have a vote. Mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule is in effect. <laughs> Ro 
Rosario and Vera West. Sort of a crossroads. For the veteran at 32, Vera West looking for paydays down the road. A win here would set him up for some. For Rosario, the possibility of a title bout against Bazooka Limon for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship. And so far, Rosario has been really impressive. He has come out aggressive. He has come out loaded. Both guns are loaded. Vera Wett losing some of, the, some of the dance that we have seen out of him in times past. And right now, Edwin Rosario is utterly in control. Digs hard to the body with two right hands. Goes hard to the body with a left hand as Rosario continues to make the fight. This youngster has got to be given his chance pretty soon. He's that good. Double hook there by Vera Wett. That left hand picked off by Rosario. But Garouet is going to have to find a way to nullify some of the firepower of this youngster. Because in the first round and in the early going of this round, he was really reaching. Garouet. Now Verouet starts to find him a little bit with a straight right hand, and Verouet goes down, nods as he bounces up off the rope. That he's all right, but he doesn't look all right. He can scarcely walk. The count reaches eight and nine. Verouet has won in his history to indicate to Rosario, I'm all right. Well, he's not all right. He's wobbly, and the kid's going after him. Grabbers him back into the rope. A little bit impatient, perhaps, right here, as he's trying to land another big one. It was a wicked right hand that put the veteran down. And he went down to work into the round. So we'll see now whether or not Edwin Vera can shake off the impact of a straight right hand that had everything in the world behind it from Rosario. He had everything in the world on it. And it caught him flush on the side of the face. Edwin Virouette, a man who is advertised in this weight division as literally one with a granite jaw. He does not go down very many times. He hit him a little high on the side of the face, up around the cheekbone area. If he'd caught him on the jaw, it might have been a different story. He might not have come back. But it was flush on the side of the face, and it had plenty of power on it. So Edwin Rosario, so well advertised as one of the bright coming young stars, looks just like that right now. All the cunning and guile and the wisdom accumulated by Virouette now is going to have to be brought to play as we go to round number three. He looks all right right now. Rosario in the dark trunks, black trunks. Virouette in the white. They exchange flurries to the body. Virouette a little bit off balance. It takes a left to the body and a left to the head. There were times when Edwin Virouette would not get in this position of going jaw to jaw with a young lion like a Rosario against Roberto Duran. He nullified all of Duran's power during 25 rounds against Duran when he was the champion. And two more solid right hands to the center of the head by Rosario. There's a good right hand by Virouette. So Virouette counters with perhaps his best punch of the fight. A right hand that went to the jaw of Rosario, but he didn't seem bothered by it. Oh, another right hand, and Edwin Virouette goes down on his back, and I think the fight is over. There's no way he can get up from there. He's going to climb the rope, but it is over. At 1.26 to go in the third round, this fight is over. Edwin Rosario has knocked out Edwin Virouette. Well, 
Bazooka Limon has to be impressed. Cornelius Boza Edwards has to be impressed. I'm impressed, and I am quite sure that everybody in boxing is impressed because everybody seemed of the.